everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you a really great side dish for the holidays. This is how to make apple cranberry sauce. Now if you've never made your own cranberry sauce at home and you're still buying it in the can, you don't have to do that anymore, okay? Go on and pick yourself up a couple of bags of cranberries so that you can chew them through Thanksgiving and Christmas and even at Easter if you want to. So here you go, I usually have cranberry sauce made pretty much at all times uh, throughout the holiday season. This is about four cups of fresh Ontario cranberries. Make sure you check out my review on these guys from Harvest Barn. They are awesome. Bright red, beautiful um, ripeness and coloration. You have to rinse them through in a colander under some cold water. Make sure that there's no bad ones and make sure that there's no stems, okay? These guys were like impeccably clean, so. I'm good to go. I'm also going to use a Granny Smith apple today and it's just going to add a little bit more tartness, a little bit of sweetness and just a little bit more variety than the typical cranberry sauce. I like the whole berry cranberry sauce instead of the jelly but that's everyone's you know own preference. That's how we're doing it today. So first things first, I have a medium sized saucepan on my stove top and I'm adding about a quarter and like an eighth of water. If you want to use apple juice or apple cider today, it's a good idea. And I have one cup plus two tablespoons of white sugar. Now I'm going to bring this up to a boil and uh, dissolve this sugar in here. And I'm going to let it simmer for an additional, I don't know, three, four minutes on a low heat. We're just simmering, okay? Make sure that sugar is nice and dissolved. So this has come up to a boil and I'm going to turn it down to a simmer on about just over medium heat. Let this go for about four or five minutes. In the meantime, I'm cutting up some apple. I'm going to use maybe about a cup of diced Granny Smith apple. You can use whatever kind of apple you prefer. Okay, this has been going for about four or five minutes. I'm going to add my berries to this. You can use fresh or frozen berries. And I'm going to add my apple as well. And I'm going to stir it through. So I just cut my Granny Smith apple into a small dice. I want to bring this up to a boil as quickly as possible. All right, dinner is ready. The turkey, the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, the gravy, the sides, and now I'm going to just get this into a bowl. Boy, that looks pretty. The lighter bits of apple look so nice in there. This has um, thickened up nicely, just like I wanted it to. And we're gonna eat a bunch of this, I already know. You can experiment with some spice in here if you want. Add some ginger or cinnamon, cloves, whatever it is you desire. But uh, we're just going straight cranberry and apple today. Beautiful. Now look at how beautiful this sauce is. Oh, it's plump with these juicy berries. You've got that nice tender apple in there and it's so nice and tangy. Now before I take this to the table, I'm gonna sneak myself a bite for you. Now that it's all um, thickened up. Oh, look at the chunks of berries. I love the whole berry sauce. And this apple, look at that. Mm. Mmm. Don't forget that key lime zest. That's a key element of this fantastic sauce. Boy, that's good. Mmm. This is a match made in heaven. I wonder why I've never made this kind before. Beautiful. Fantastic. I really hope that you try this recipe out. It is outstanding. That's it. Make sure you get your fresh cranberries for the holidays at Harvest Barn Country Markets. You can check them out online at harvestbarn.ca. And there's two locations, one is in St. Catharines and one is in Niagara-on-the-Lake. I picked up these gorgeous Ontario cranberries from them. Boy, they're great. Really high quality, they all looked beautiful, and I got four cups. Sometimes in those other bags you only get three. So make sure you get out there, get to the barn, and get you some fresh produce, all right? 
Check this out. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen. Eat deliciously. Bye.